the last lecture on foundation of astronomy course today we are going to talk about life in universe our focus of discussion will be to describe our current understanding of how life is formed and how it evolved on earth discuss if life is possible elsewhere in the universe explain why all life on the earth will eventually come to an end formation and evolution life life is a complex biochemical process that draws energy from its environment to survive and reproduce air secondary atmosphere was formed in parts by carbon dioxide and water vapor as a product of volcanism cometary impacts may have been an additional source for water as well as adding methane and ammonia molecules rained out of the atmosphere and into the ocean now let us discuss about miller urey experiment life arose mostly from the primordial soup of organic molecules miller and urey created some of these molecules with an experiment similar to the primordial earth as shown in the figure the organic molecule needed a source of energy to fragment and reassemble lightning and solar uv radiation and hydrothermal vents deep in oceans are possible energy sources now coming to life in ocean life mostly began in ocean about 3.5 billion years ago extremophiles would have thrived around freezing severe or high temperature conditions now formation of dna led to prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells what is a prokaryotic cell it is an oldest type of cell which is very small and simple it lack nucleus and organelles it is single cellular while eukaryotes evolved from prokaryotes they are larger and more complex they contain nuclei contain organelles and they can be multicellular evolution proceeded at a very slow pace over the next 3 billion years now what is dna sequencing dna sequencing show the interconnectivity of all species and establishing an evolutionary tree of life the number of new species exploded about 500 million years ago now what is the reason for the explosion of evolution the possible reason for the explosion include emergence from a period of extreme cold an increase in oxygen and ozone and an increase in genetic diversity now we have to talk about natural selection process self replicating molecules which were formed from dna will inevitably make a copying error sometimes such a copying error which is called mutation is beneficial the mutation may be more successful in replicating self replicating than the original ones so after a few generation the molecules that were more successful at obtaining resources dominated others competition predation and cooperation led to natural selection we can say 
success breeds success natural selection has created huge variety in 4 billion years including humans any system that combine hereditary mutation and natural selection must and will evolve now let us talk about the terrestrial life all terrestrial life is composed primarily of six elements carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen which we called as chon and small amount of phosphor and sulfur we are all carbon based life forms now why carbon based life is more common carbon is tetravalent that is it can bond up with four other atoms and molecules this property allows carbon to form complex molecules that provide the basis of terrestrial life's chemistry silicon is also very similar to that of carbon it is again a tetravalent element silicon based molecules are stable at higher temperature than carbon based so life forms that are not carbon based are also possible in certain planets where high temperature is the ambient situation now life within our solar system astrobiology studies the possibility of life in the universe in the solar system life could possibly exist on mars or moons of giant planets including europa titan and enclides what is habitable zone the region around a star that provides a range of temperature in which liquid water can exist is called stars habitable zone hotter stars have large habitable zone now let us have a class question which of the following is not a valid reason for life to not arise on that world choice a mars had a warmer and wetter past choice b europa has ocean under its surface choice c enclides is out of sun's habitable zone and titan has organic material the answer is enclides is out of sun's habitable zone and that is a valid reason that life will not arise so the answer is c now let us talk about exoplanets very recently nasa has discovered two earth like planets we know that some stars have planets called exoplanets in their orbit if in the habitable zone these planet could have the right condition for life estimates ranges as high as 8 billion earth sized planets in the habitable zone of their stars in our own milky way galaxy alone now let us come to an another class question even if there is a very low chance that any one planet has life on it there may be many advanced civilization because choice a there are billions and billions of stars in the universe choice b simple life inevitably leads to complex life choice c we know that earth like planets are rare in our galaxy and it is obviously there are mil- billions of stars in the universe that is why we have a chance that one of the planet may have life in it now what are the things we have done to communicate with the life elsewhere 
Spacecrafts like Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11 carry a plague dissipating humanity. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 carry photographs. Phonograph records of greetings, music, messages and animal sounds. You can see some photos over here. Arecubo radio telescope beamed a message to star cluster M13. The message contained numbers 1 to 10, hydrogen and carbon atom, and a description of humanity and many more as shown in the figure. Now why we are so optimistic about extraterrestrial life? It is because of an equation formulated using science that is called the Drake equation. Drake equation estimates the number of advanced civilization which may be possible in our universe. It is calculated by considering many of the factors like number of stars in our galaxy, fraction of stars with planets, average number of planets per star, fraction of planets with life, fraction that develop advanced technology. Some of the values we know, some of the values we assume and then we come up with the Drake equation and results say that there is a likelihood that such planets could exist today. The optimistic value is nearly 40 light years away there is a civilization and if you are pessimistic nearly 30 million light years away that is not even in our galaxy we can find a extraterrestrial life an extraterrestrial life now the search for extraterrestrial life is continuing by seti and eta seti searches for radio signals from technologically advanced civilization allen telescope array will survey as many as million stars in several years time now coming to a thoughtful slide how the life on earth will end in 5 billion years the Sun will no longer be a main sequence star it will swell in size luminosity as both a red giant and earth could be consumed if the red giant Sun loses enough mass in a wind it loses of gravity pull may cause earth to move outward and earth could freeze. Descendants of current humanity must be able to deal with cosmic catalysis. They must be able to manage the threat of asteroid impacts also. The sun will evolve into a planetary nebula and a white dwarf rendering solar system un inhabitable for long term survival it is sure that the descendants of humanity must eventually leave not only earth but also our solar system see the image of our earth taken from Cassini's spacecraft that is a little tiny dot where you can say earth which is the only place in the entire universe where life is confirmed to exist according to Albert Einstein we can say there will be a very beautiful mathematical principle to describe the universe as he says I have deep faith that the principle of universe will be beautiful and simple chapter summary so what we have discussed is life on earth is a form of complex carbon based chemistry life forms that are very different from ours including those based on silicon chemistry cannot be ruled out 
astronomers are searching for earth like planets in habitable zones humanity will eventually need to leave the earth to survive thank you all for patiently going through the course good luck